hello guys so today i am going to initiate a new uh, lecture series over here which i named high yield traction theory series so uh, why i call it high yield is because after watching this series entirely and sincerely uh, you will be able to answer 100% of the questions which will be asked from this area in any exam in your semester exam or your uh, gate exam of agricultural engineering then uh, you will not required to go through any book whatsoever or any study material related to this area anymore after watching these videos then all your basic concepts and whatever doubts you have till now that will be cleared forever so i will try to clear all your basic concepts and doubt over here but still if you have some doubt you can ask me in the comment section i will be more than happy to uh, revert it back to you okay so uh, basically this series consists of uh, four five mo mostly uh, very important areas from which every year uh, two to three questions will be definitely be asked in the gate even more than that they can ask so uh, to the first one is traction tires then uh, force is coming on the wheel then uh, tractor dynamics weight transfer as well as tractor center of gravity measurement and all those things then uh, tractor stability both lateral stability as well as uh, longitudinal stability so i will explain each and everything which i feel is important for your uh, um, better understanding and your concept clarity okay <coughs> so the first lecture of this series is uh, related to traction tires because uh, tires are a very important part of traction generating mechanism so in this video i will explain this so uh, this is the first lecture of this series so uh, this traction theory series tts 1.1 the traction tire so uh, something about me this is me utpal misra i did my btech from rio pusa bihar uh, i have given gate in, uh, in my third year only in 2013 I, and i got all india rank 13 in, in that year then uh, i did my mtech in fmp from iit kgp Right now I am working in Chennai in Mahindra Research Valley, which is R&D uh, arm of Mahindra and Mahindra. Okay, you can reach out to me at my email ID, which is given over here. But uh, don't write anything to me. If you have something a specific uh, query, then only write to me here. I will definitely reply over there. Okay, otherwise you can uh, write to me in comment section. I will reply you over there. So we are going to start this. Uh, tire series so initially uh, people were using steel tires those tires were not same as you can see today today there are these are rubber tires pneumatic tires in which air is being filled okay but initially those days uh, it was steel tires you can see the photo photographs which are attached over here for your uh, better clarity okay so these are the examples of steel tires there are, there were certain advantages like these steel tires were able to develop a high drawbar pull because you see these are uh, very uh, bigger lugs you can see in, uh, in each tire so they can, they, they, can, uh, they can penetrate into the soil and uh, they can uh, generate uh, good traction good drawbar pull but uh, there were some inherent uh, disadvantages like they cannot be run on paved road pakka road concrete road because of very bumpy and rough ride okay so because of that you cannot run this tire on the road and then road will also get damaged because of these lugs so these are, these are steel lugs then it, if you run it on soil then there will be problem of high soil compaction then if you run it in a puddling condition like a mud soil or a, or the field which is filled with uh, filled with water then it will uh, it will penetrate very deep into the mud and it could get stuck into the mud so there will it this these tire will have limited mobility in wet soil so these were some inherent disadvantages of steel tires because of and then uh, because of its heavy weight there will be higher fuel consumption also so due to these inherent uh, disadvantages people have moved to better option and that better option was pneumatic tires pneumatic is something related to air so it, this is basically rubber tire which is filled with air we call it pneumatic tires okay so in these tires came in uh, in 1930s 
so the this WCLS chamber this this was this was first US company which has introduced this pneumatic uh, tires and they have tested it, it it in Nebraska tractor lab Nebraska was uh, is a state in USA in USA okay so basically they are they have tested uh, this this tire pneumatic tire in Nebraska lab and they found it useful so they like this is a company which I am talking about WCLS Chambers so you can see here this is a the, they were using a steel tires initially and then they have moved to this rubber tire now here the important thing is you can see how this front tire is being attached into the tractor and you can compare it with uh, how it is nowadays these days how this front tire is being used okay so uh, this is the company which is, which have used first pneumatic tire so how they used it is they have tested the tire in the lab in Nebraska tractor lab Nebraska is famous for agriculture and they found it that the steel will produce 5.62 HP hours per gallon whereas the rubber tire has developed 8.8 .8 HP per gallon so almost 45 percent fuel economy so due to fuel economy they have started but then they felt other uh, lot of advantages over steel tires and likewise pneumatic tire got popular and uh, it has been developed uh, till the point which you can see today okay so whatever were disadvantages of steel tire they all become advantageous for rubber tire so it can be run smoothly on paved road uh, it causes less soil compaction it has it will have better mobility in the wet soil and at the same time it can produce enough drawer pull uh, for your implements and tractor so this is how it all started now uh, we will see the types of tractor tires okay so you can you have you might have seen various types of you know, lugs in the tractor tires so on the on the basis of tractor lugs we can divide tires into uh, five category you can see the figure here this is r1 category of tires this is r1 w r2 r3 r4 the main difference is you basically these lugs these are called lugs which will penetrate into the soil and produce shear stress into the soil and due to this that shear stress it uh, it will help to move it will it generate traction the traction will help you tractor to move in forward direction so basically this is this division is based on this tire thread okay so this this is called tire thread this is lugs and this in between the space in between two lugs is called wide area so all the tires have different lug depth and different uh, percentage of wide area so I have uh, for your benefit I have made a table over here in which you can see the advantages and disadvantages or properties of all these tires so basically this R1 tire is a general purpose tire which can be used for general farming in almost all soil conditions okay so it has aggressive pattern of thread and its thread to wide race, wide area is approximately 70% so I have already told you this is a thread and this is the wide area so this thread to wide area uh, throughout the tire footprint now what is tire footprint that I will explain to you later but you right now you understand that this thread area to this wide area this area difference is approximately 70% of the tire footprint area okay this is the most popular uh, tire used for agricultural purpose this r1w has been originated in europe not in us <laughs> and then uh, it will have 20 percent deeper skid depth than r1 but nowadays it is also being used uh, not quite popular as r1 but uh, it is also being used in india also then r2 is r2 is you can see here again r2 this is r2 so you can see these lugs and you can see this width of the tire so uh, r2 thread is basically used in wet application puddling application mud and a standing water so the thread is deeper than the r1 and the angle is 45 degree so that mud will not get stuck onto the lugs so for better cleaning in the wet soil but it is not as efficient as r1 in general farming condition which is basically used for rice sugarcane and those uh, muddy areas okay then we go to r3 and r4 <coughs> r3 basically i told you that it is mostly used for airports golf course cement trees or roadside areas okay wherever uh, non agricultural operations are being happened so it has non aggressive pattern of thread then r4 is uh, you can say is also a general purpose tire if you if you have uses on roads as well as some usage on soil 
so it can give you a better ride condition on road as well as uh, better good enough traction on the soil so you can read this table you can pause the video and you can note it down uh, the differences between all these things it could be asked in the exam okay so this is the type of tire on the basis of the third pattern then there is another type on the basis of their construction construction wise we can categorize into two part one is bias ply second is radial ply now you can see this figure if you cut the tire you can see metallic wire uh, running throughout the tire so those are called plies so if those plies are criss crossing each other you can see here this is uh, at some certain angle this is at some other angle third one is at some other angle so all plies are criss crossing each other at different different angle then it is called bias ply and if all plies are parallel to each other running parallel to each other then it is called radial ply so because of this construction difference between the tire they, they will have different properties i have listed out all properties in this table which you can refer for uh, your uh, study now what are the advantages is because of this uh, this uh, parallel construction radial ply tire will have uh, higher deflection whereas bias ply will have more stiffness so for same load radial tire will give you more traction whereas this will give you uh, less traction so if you want for agricultural purpose more traction so radial ply is better for agricultural purposes that is why if you see a uh, con developed countries tractor all will have radial ply tire in the rear section whereas in india because radial ply is little bit costlier than the bias ply we are not using radial ply we are still using bias ply but for higher sp here also we are going for radial ply okay so a radial ply will give you better traction but in bikes if you see bike tire that they will have a bias ply because you have to steer your bike uh, handle with your one hand so because radial tire will give you more deflection due to which you will feel difficulty in turning that's why in bike you are using bias ply whereas in tractor rear tire you traction is the main criteria due to which you have to use radial ply if you want more traction so research says that depending on condition radial tire will give you 16 to 14 percent more traction so uh, it will have better fuel efficiency and less fuel slippage so this is all about bias ply tire and radial ply tire okay so with this we conclude the tire construction tire type and some introduction of tire so uh, next will be uh, the important video which will be on tire size calculation and some tire characteristics okay so uh, with this i will conclude this video thank you all for watching this if you have any doubt you can uh, comment in the comment section write it in the comment section just like subscribe this with this uh, channel and uh, you can spread the word to your peers so that more and more people can watch uh, these videos and they will get benefit okay so this is not only intended mainly intended for get aspirants and uh, for your it will help in your get preparation but at the same time it will help other people who are not preparing for gate but are from agriculture background or uh, doing agriculture engineering it will help you in better understanding of your concept and at the same time it will also help to people who are working in tractor industries so do spread the word so thank you guys again for watching this video thank you very much